I... It's weird. Normally I hate it when games show me intros like this, but I'm... Honestly, it's so adorable that I don't mind. I've been sitting here for like the last few minutes, I think we've seen it five times already, and it does not get old. Hey everyone, what about here, and welcome to Mighty Goose. It is... I... I don't know if it's a Metroidvania. It... It gives me some Metal Slug vibes more than anything else. Okay, and this is a little louder than I thought it was going to be. Check setting, settings for a hot second. Oh, hey, I actually really like this. So I'm not sure if I'm going to turn on auto uh, auto fire, but I'm going to turn on disable uh, screen shake and flashing screens. I really, oh, and controller vibration. I want none of these things. I, I don't know. I'm a weirdo. I don't like screen shake that much. I definitely don't like flashing screens and I really am not interested. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm actually going to turn controller vibration back on. I forgot, this is the PS5. PS5 has some really sweet, uh, some really sweet vibration, and I want to see if they, uh, make the best of it. I don't know. Anyway, start mission. Come in, Mighty Goose. This is your trusty operator, Chonk, speaking. Uh, let's see, what do we think? It's probably a squirrel. Big fat one. Anyway. As usual, we'll be providing you with remote intel during your missions. You'll be able to use the map screen to navigate the galaxy and accept missions. Good luck! Void prison. Void holding facility. Overall progress. Complete a combo to give your mighty meter a nice boost. Alright! I gotta wonder if this was made after... Um... Like, after Untitled Goose Game came out, and they're just like, oh man, let's, let us, oh, we should make a Goose Game. Or if this was, like, coincidentally in development, and Goose Game just came out, and they're just like, I don't know, why not? Let's just, let's just own this. I guess I can break these containers. Alright, go back to the settings, turn the sound effects down further. I am really not much of a sound effects guy. Resume shop. Weapons, vehicles. Oh. So I can spend money to upgrade my weapon in some some manner or another. Nice landing, Goose. Weapon Master Vark is being held in the holding cells in lower levels. So you'll have to take it from there. Good luck. Well, if I want to get incredibly aggressive, I can... <laughs> oh, it's cute. Let's see. Find a way into the prison. Looks like the elevator is disabled. If you can find the elevator control panel, I'm sure you can get it working again. Now, I see that I have a honk button. I'm afraid to use it. Let's use it in combat, so I don't waste it. Well, it died. I was gonna honk at it, but I was like, experimental shot or three. You destroyed the terminal. Well, I guess it worked. I abs up. Oh. Now, okay. So it looks like the honk button. It looks like the honk button, uh, is just on a cooldown. I thought it was going to be... Uh, let's see. I don't know. I was I was hoping it would be something special. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I like that shoot upwards animation. Just the goose looking up looks so goofy. Oh, rolling. Rolling gives you a boost of forward momentum used to get out of tricky situations. And while rolling, Mighty Goose is immune to enemy attacks. Make good use of this. It can also be used in the air. Well, let's start with... Ah. Ah. Huh. Well, this is one way to do things. <laughs> All right. I was not expecting that I'd be able to take that dude for a ride, but here we are. Uh, oh, okay. 
It's so... The things I can buy in the shop are temporary. Now, does the tank... Nope. I don't know if I want to be next to that. Wait a minute, Goose. You got backup coming in. Regular duck volunteered to assist you on the mission. Every hero needs a sidekick, and Mighty Goose is no exception. Companions are CPU controlled characters that try to help you on your missions. Companion characters each have their own unique abilities, some more useful than others. More companions can be unlocked as you play through the game. Try to collect them all. Oops. This is very Metal Slug. Though, the actual, like, uh, world and exploration is a little bit more. Whoops. Now, got a question about regular duck. Does it do anything? Or is it just there? They did say it was more useful than others. Whoop. I haven't seen it do anything yet. Oh! It shits at enemies! It literally poops at them. Now the question is, is it, are those eggs or is that just poop? I, I don't know. I can't, I can't say. I wonder if I can go above 200 ammo. No, it looks like we cap out at 200. All right, mighty mode. Once the mighty meter has been filled up by attacking enemies, you can activate mighty mode. Well, in Mighty Mode, your attacks will be supercharged, and Mighty Goose will be immune to most sources of damage. It dra uh, Mighty Mode drains your Mighty Meteor at a high rate. Try to make good use of your limited time in Mighty Mode. Keep attacking enemies to extend the duration. I... I don't know how to activate Mighty Mode. Oh, because it's not charged. It's up there. Oh, L1, L2. <laughs> oh, boy. This is, uh, yeah, that, that's certainly Mighty Mode. I love for these enemies, at least. Oh, shotgun cannot be fired. <laughs> shotgun cannot be fired while ducking. You have to... Uh, so you have to be standing up normally to actually be able to utilize it. Well, that's good. It's not a rocket launcher. This is like just one hell of a shotgun. All right. Works for me. This is joyous. <laughs> These guys just spawn. Have a bad day. Anybody else want to spawn? Nope. Fine. Back to the machine gun. I like the shotgun, but I don't think I need to be that ammo efficient with it. There we go. I seem to get more than enough just by existing. This is cute. I love this. I, okay. Lightning runs on pause for a bit. I want to... I want to play around with this for a little while. Maybe I'll get bored of it faster than I think, but it's just so cute. It's like, I don't know, Untitled Goose Game. I I seriously hope we end up with just this, like, weirdly, obs like, this confusingly large quantity of uh, goose-themed games. 
for no clear reason other than because it's really funny portraying goose or geese as like unrepentant monsters. Like what would be another one? I would love to play like a uh Okay, so they can step on me. But only when they do the jump. Otherwise they're completely completely non-threatening to me. All right, I'll take it. Probably could have waited on that one, but it's okay. Have you met a goose? They're monsters. I think they're more of kind of an inconvenience most of the time. Swans are assholes. Hola, goose. My scans indicate you are very close to Weapon Master Vark. Try searching the area if you can find him. Take care. I wonder if we get upgrades of some variety. I hope we do. Firing downwards. Can shoot downwards. Kickback will allow you to stay in the air a little bit longer. Useful. You saved me! Let's get the heck out of here! Vark! Oh, it's a companion! What if I just, like, didn't take him with me? But yeah, I'd, I'd love to play, like... Oh, God, what would be a good one? <laughs> A goose dating sim would be something special. I know there's had a full boyfriend. The point of the goose-based one would be every character is, like, just irredeemably awful. Like, adorable. So that's why you want Vark. Dude attacks. And gives you weapons occasionally, I think. Alright, there we go. Oh, I see. I wonder if I can lure missiles back into this guy. Maybe. Oh. There we go. Hello! Oh! <laughs> Absolute beasted. <laughs> so good. I can't tell what this game wants to be with itself. Is this going to be like Metal Slug X uh Is it Me Metal Slug Mega Man I mean obviously the level design I think is a little bit more Mega Man. The art style like I guess really just the tanks and the ve vehicles are more uh they're more Metal Slug than they are X-Men. I don't... Yeah, it's like... I hear Metal Slug... And maybe that's the answer. Nope. There we go. It's so cute. You did it! I got a visual on your position. Hold on. Activating tractor beam. We. This is cute. Rank B. Duh. I wish there was an accessibility option that just got rid of those, but that's fine. Summon the crow. I'm at your service, oh great one. It appears a hunter goose has been causing trouble at one of our holding facilities. I trust you will deal with this problem, Crow. 
Make sure this trust is not misplaced. Yes, of course, Great One! I shall deal with it at once! Phew. Thanks for getting me out of there, Goose. The food in particular was horrible. Now that we're back on the ship, I can finally get back to work on your equipment. Come join me in the armory. Let's upgrade some of that gear. Hey! So there's progression. There you are. Welcome to the armory. This is a place where you can customize your chip loadout, secondary weapon, or even select an ally to accompany you on your mission. More of these shiny toys will become available as you complete missions. Check back here every now and then. It might be a lot to take in all at once, so take your time and have a look around. Okay. Well, at the very least, I might as well turn that on. Okay, regular duck. Not really that strong, but it'll always stand by your side. Talented engineer and master of arms, although not that capable in battle, has an endless supply of machine gun ammo. Let's see. So this is a secondary weapon. I've got Goose Honk. Honk with all your might. Doesn't actually do anything, but it feels kind of good. All right, and we got to get the rest. Okay, well, nothing too much for it. Just increases my base movement speed. That's really... Well, no, I guess we already have a dash, so it's not that big of a deal. All right. Well, this game is adorable. Planet Zanback, Void Weapons Depot. Can you replay missions? Yes, you can. I have no idea if there's, like, secrets or anything to look for. Maybe there is. Okay, what if I go this way? I'm going to assume there's nothing over there. Yeah, egg pod. Yup. Another great landing. Your target is the weapons convoy. Satellite view shows the convoy is currently refueling east, refueling east of your location. Good luck. Whoa. Okay, got to worry a little bit. Okay. Okay, got to worry a little bit. I don't have that much maximum HP. At least that dodge roll is huge. Boy, if Metal Slug had had a, a substantive, like, damage avoidance ability like this dodge roll, I might have actually been able to clear it without spending egregious amounts of money on it. Ow. I was trying to... I was trying to hop off his head, but it didn't work. Okay, this guy runs out eventually, yeah? Yep, I'm dead. Let's try that again. I'll just take less damage in that one section. If I can. Yep. Ow. I think my biggest issue is I don't notice the Molotovs. Nope, I don't notice a lot. There we go. There we go. Ow. Oh, well, and I'm dead. And there's all the HP pickups. Alright, whatever, it's fine. I'd say I'm getting better, but I'm actually doing worse. How did I take damage there? That must have been a rogue Molotov. I don't know, there's a lot of particle effects, and maybe I'm not paying the most amount of attention as I should be. 
I, it seems like... What? I don't know what's hurting me. Okay. We got a health kit there, though. There we go. Nope. Got another one. Now, do I have, like, an actual melee attack? I haven't tested that one yet. I don't know if I'll get the chance. It okay. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. And I'm pointing the wrong direction. Excuse me, sir. There he goes. There's the HP. Cool. Ow. My patience. There we go. At least there's nothing above that guy to shoot me. I... Music on this is so good. Ah. There are secrets to keep in mind. Yep. Oh. Hi. Ow. Okay. I was pretty sure there'd, there'd be some kind of secret to find at some point. Hello. What do we have here? Go for the helicopter guy. Apparently, you can actually just stand on top of falling enemies. That's a weird feeling. <gasps> okay. But why not, though? Ah. Okay. I don't... I'm assuming I'm going to need this for something. Oh! And it can do a boost to avoid damage. Alright. Well, this has become chaos. <gasps> Big gun. Okay, health kit? Health kit does not help. Dang. Health kit does not help. Super ship. It was still a brief moment in time of pure fun. Oops. There we go. Any other enemies? No. We're gonna leave the shotgun off. We've got a homing rocket launcher. There we go. I just... Yep. This is absolutely pure badass. Oh. And I'm dead. Damn it. Oh, no. Okay, I still have my rocket launcher, though. Nope. Wow, that camera really... swerves there. I'm not sure why there is a slow-mo. Oh. This is awkward. A double jump would go a long way to make my life easier when it comes to traversing those. I really like the enemy design in this. They're cool looking. All right, we found the convoy. 
This is just delightful. Oh. Oh, there's binoculars. I thought I was getting sniped at. That said. I see you've managed to sneak aboard the weapons convoy. Great job. Make your way to the front car and destroy it. There we go. Can I kill this guy? No, it doesn't look like it. There we go. I'm not taking damage from, from just the fire. Okay, there we go. There's that guy, but I think I'm just going to leave him alone. Uh, oh! Ah! There we go. Not mess with that too much. Swing down. Oh. Ow. Really? That was weird. I was really hoping I'd be able to, uh... Oh, that's fine. So th there is a melee attack. I'm pretty sure. Eggs, you wanna... Yeah, there we go. Because, yeah, the melee attack absolutely sends them flying. It's really quick, though. There we go. Give me that sweet cash. Hopefully we'll have something to spend it on sooner than later. There we go. Nope, he ain't dead yet. There we go. It time. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Ah, charged right into that one. Oh, can I run the, the basic dudes over? Hey, did that hurt? No, that's just an enemy slow blowing up in slow mode just to make everything seem more badass. I dig it. Okay, anything here? Mm, kinda. Nope. Ow. At least there aren't any secrets so far that require me keeping this thing alive. Back. You thought you could. You thought you could sneak away. You could not. And I have a new car. Yes. Okay, made my way up the convoy. There we go. I. This is just. Hello. Up. Ow. Rude. Well, I defeated the Mecha Worm. It apparently was actually not that tough. And now it's time for a crow in a mech suit or a plane. Or a scorpion car is apparently the answer. Oh, okay. Ow, 
Ow. Okay, well, if I have to redo this fight, I at least know how it works. Mostly. Oh, got it. What am I supposed to shoot now? I don't know. Well, we're going uphill. <laughs> I like how that guy falls diagonally. Because that makes sense. Okay. Well, this is going to be weird heck. Yep. Not sure what hit me there. Oh, these camera angles. Oh, these camera angles. Whoop. Nope. Damn it. And my goose really did get cooked. All right. Shotgun. I got a shotgun, though. Alright, so Super Shotgun apparently does heinous things. Okay, yep, shoot down. Okay. Now, I really gotta be looking forward... Okay. Oh, please die. Okay, so I have to be pressing this button. Oop. We lost mighty mode rather surprisingly quickly there. Okay, is it dead? Mission complete. There we go. Got it. I might be able to shoot the projectiles. I'll have to test that next time. All right. I think this is a pretty good stopping point, at least for now. So, uh, Mighty Goose is a ton of fun. It reminds me a lot of the old Metal Slug games, but with like a little bit of Mega Man and, you know, maybe a couple other games just in its DNA, just to, just to give it some extra... I don't know, to make it stand apart, I guess, is the point. And I really like it. It's... How do I describe it? It's like an ounce of nostalgia, but with a lot of modern sensibilities, and just a lot of quality. I love the design of it. I love the fact that you're freaking goose with just cyber arms and stuff. I... Uh, I don't know. It's super cool. I wish I could play the multiplayer version, and maybe I'll grab Shell for like a level or two just to check it out at some point. Uh, but overall, like, this has been just nothing but a fun experience. I realize that I'm getting crushed over and over again, but I feel like those, those, uh, rankings, you know, A, B, C, D, S, whatever, like, I, I feel like those are for, for the really hardcore people. Maybe. Maybe I'm just garbage, but it, it's one of those that growing up, whenever a game is just like, you got a D ranking, and it's like, I didn't even die and I got through the level fine. What do you mean? The answer is no, you have to play perfectly. Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, I, I think, ruined me on this one, but that's okay. Anyway, so, Mighty Goose is out on Steam, uh, PlayStation, I think it's on every single platform. And, I mean, why why shouldn't it be? It's, uh, it's not like it's the most, well, I don't know, demanding game ever. But yeah, Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox, I'm pretty sure. And then Steam as well. Um, for 20 bucks, which I think is reasonable. It's a little on the short side. I think it clocks in about 7 to 8 hours long. But, like, I've played shorter shorter games for, for way more. And for how, like, just kind of joyous and fun this is, with the fact that I get, just got turned into a cooked goose, like, there's just a lot of cool stuff in there. And I can't help but be impressed by it. Uh, but, yeah. So, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Because I've got at least one more episode 
uh, ready and raring to go. And honestly, considering how short this is, I might stick around for the rest. Uh, but for now, at least, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.